In our previous video, we have seen about your Azure Marketplace. We have explored a lot of your Azure Marketplace. We have seen different products over there. We have also seen how we can use those particular products. Now here we are going to talk about one more service of your Azure. This is Azure Load Balancer. Now what is Azure Load Balancer? As discussed into our previous videos as well, we need to balance the load of the virtual machine or the incoming traffic. So by the name itself, it tells you that it's going to balance the load. So the load which is going to balance that will be the incoming traffic which is able to communicate with your servers which are able to or requesting your servers to for an application or any kind of services. Now again if I talk about your load balancer again there are many features of your load balancers that we have. Now very first it provides you a high availability of the servers where generally you will be having those kind of servers attached to your system where they will provide you the data integrity and also a maximum uptime for the service which you are going to deploy. And also it provides you a better network performance for it. As we know, if incoming traffics are coming into your network and huge number of users are going to access to your network or service or applications which you are using, so you should have a better network performance for it. Same way it distributes the incoming traffic. So as this is, it's going to balance the load among the number of virtual machines you are using into your infrastructures. Now, for example, if I'm deploying my web applications, so my web application will be having a number of interfaces, huge number of users who will be accessing this particular web application. So for that, I'll be having a couple of machines or a couple of servers, we can say, where I'll be keeping a copy of this particular web-based applications and each of the applications or each of the servers will be deploying this application at the same time. So a number of users who are accessing this particular services will be divided among all these particular virtual machines so that we can balance the load of them. Next, it's again provide you a better configuration of your virtual machines. Now here you can even divide that incoming traffic to your virtual machines or you can divide the virtual machines in a virtual machine network to split the traffic as well as we can use an external traffic to specify your virtual machines. So that depends upon you which kind of network splitting or which kind of division you are going to do for your load balancers. And also if I talk about the benefits of using your load balancers. So as discussed, you can get a high availability and better network performance over here. You can instantly add or scale to your applications which you have created. You can again balance your internal as well as your private virtual network load balances or incoming traffics. Same way you can improve your application reliability via your health checks. So here generally your system will always check for the health of the virtual machines which you have created for balancing the load. If it find a virtual machine is failing at some point, it will automatically create or scale a new virtual machine and then the virtual machine will be deploying those particular service which you have offered it. Next, you have a flexible NAT rules for better security. So as discussed, we are using NAT, that is network address translations for our security purpose so that we can create our private network and then we can resolve our private IP address to a public IP address so that whenever you are communicating to your external network or your internet, it should be having a security on it. Also, it provides you a directly integrated into your virtual machine as a cloud service. So here we are going to create our virtual machine infrastructures as I said and this particular virtual machine will be deploying the services we are going to provide and same virtual machine again be created as a load balance servers over here. Same way we have a native IP version 6 support. As we know till now we were using IP version 4 and this particular feature of your latest IP version 6 feature will be again available with your this particular feature that is load balancing. So even you can not only traffic or divide the traffic of your IP version 4, but also the incoming traffic of your IP version 6, which we are going to use later. Same way we have different type of your load balancers that we are going to see into our next video.